Greetings everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be creating a custom shape of a logo in Photoshop. But I'm beginning in Illustrator for this because uh, it's best to create your logos uh, in Illustrator or a vector-based program. Uh, so this way your logos will be scalable and they'll always be sharp. Now in this case, I'm simply going to grab this logo from Illustrator after it's been created and the text has been outlined. And you can do that by going up to Type uh, create outlines that's already been done so that's why it's grayed out and then do nothing more than copy this so edit copy jump on over to Photoshop and here in Photoshop I'm working with a blank document but it really doesn't matter what type of document that you're working with I could have a photo here and that's fine and then I'm simply gonna choose edit paste and paste this in now I'm prompted to choose how I want to paste this in smart object pixels path or shape layer for this particular uh, operation I need to paste this in as a path so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK the logo now comes in it shows up in our paths panel now so if I click outside of the selected work path it goes away alright so it's nothing more than a path right now so if I go up to the edit menu I'm going to choose the define custom shape option so on our toolbar here, we have a custom shape tool, and this will allow us to work with that tool. So I'm going to go ahead and select Define Custom Shape. This will open up a dialog box prompting me to name it, and I will call this Arroyo Logo. And go ahead and hit OK. Now, when I select the Custom Shape tool from the toolbar, up at the top in the Options bar here, we will have a flyout menu, and down at the bottom you will see the logo, and I've done this before so I have two of them here so I have um, the very last one is the one that you just created so now that this uh, shape is loaded up or logo in this case is loaded up as our custom shape or with the custom shape tool I'm gonna go ahead and close this document up I don't need it I don't have to save it all I have to do now is simply click and drag on my document and the logo will come in now when it's created it comes in as a shape layer and you define that up here at the top. So as a shape layer, I can now take my move tool and I can move it around wherever I need it to go. If in this case I feel it's too big, I can go up to the edit menu and choose free transform or transform scale. While holding down the shift key, I want to resize the logo. So in this case, I'm gonna make it really small and then apply it. Obviously it's way too small. So I'm going to free transform again, command T while holding down the shift key, I'm going to make it larger. I'm only doing this because I want you to see that regardless of how many times I may scale this logo up or down as a shape layer, it's always going to be sharp. If this were pixel based, if it were rasterized, the logo would start to fall apart because it's made up of pixels. Okay, but being a vector, it's always going to be sharp, which is really nice. And now it's a one-click addition to add your logo or a watermark or copyright, whatever you want, to your photographs before you put them online, for example. And with this being on its own layer, with one click, as long as you have the Move tool selected, you can change the opacity of the logo itself to suit your needs. All right, so there you have it. Uh, best of luck creating your own uh, custom shape. And I'll see you in another video.